too. It's rain and smooch. What's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Smoochy Town. And before we get to one of my really dear good friends, as well as a very talented human being all around the golf course. He doesn't play golf. <laughs> I fucking hate golf. Hey, yeah. we're not going to show you yet, but maybe you recognize his voice. It's the smooch of the week. And yep, it's been rainy here in LA. Very rainy. I don't know what to do with myself. But this one Saturday, I had a couple friends over. And uh, one of the buddies, uh, I'm not going to say names yet, he suggested bowling. So we all walked down from my place, oh, lucky strike. And on the way there, I presented some uh, Silly Wonka chocolate mushrooms uh, and everyone was down to do it. So we go bowling, we're having a grand old time. I'm bowling a strike right off the first throw. And right as I hit that strike, I farted and I shit my pants. I thought I shit my pants though. Cause get this, I didn't want to tell my friends. So I started waddling around the bowling alley at 3.30 in the afternoon. No one's there. The coworkers are wondering what's in my pants. I get to the bathroom and take off my bowling shoes one at a time, take off my bowling pants. Yes, I have a pair and wiped. No poop. No poop. Chocolate mushrooms made me shit my pants and I, I didn't shit my pants. So side effects of chocolate mushrooms makes you shit your pants. You really didn't, and you have a great time at bowling. And that's a smooch of the week. Hey. Oh, yeah, dude. oh God. So, my guest today, I met him at Barney's Beanery playing pool, and we haven't stopped playing pool. We play poker. <laughs> He's a social media content creator. The very funny K. What's good? What's good? Appreciate you, bro. My guy. My Hi, guy. Bro. Thanks hey, for having me, man. Fucking uh, newsflash. To our viewers, that was my friend. Hell you yeah. witnessed the fucking <laughs> fake shit. Oh, yes. You were yes. there. 100%, dude. I literally remember that vividly. I man. literally this guy came back from the bathroom. Thought you shit yourself. I came back and you uh, couldn't stop laughing. Those shroomies that you have, man. Beautiful. Cho the beautiful chocolate, fucking chocolate. chocolate. The best. That's Take some fucking chocolates. Your life will be, be better. I promise you. I'm telling you. it's a serious. You might think you shit yourself. You, <laughs> I might be shittier. But you did. Yeah, but you did. You're it. yourself. Dude, thanks for coming on. First Bro, and foremost, me, brother. Uh, how's life? You got the new fucking uh, Drew shoes on. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Cool. Look life is great, bro. Boots. I don't know if y'all can see. These are the- uh, Oh, he's flexible. Drake collab with Nike. Shout out Drake, bro. This motherfucker has some style. Like this is his brand called Nocta and I had to cop them. Only a hundred and like 60 bucks. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I was presuming that they were They're like affordable, $800. Bro. They look crazy, bro. Like I'm fucking on and stage. You, and you get a good heel. Oh, thanks. You think so? Our buddy Rhett fucking Never has had those Converse one. moon boots. Fucking dude, four inches. He's already six <laughs> <I've two. seen. laughs> Where are you trying to go? The moon dude? Easy Lance Armstrong. Nope. That's Shout out moon. Rhett. That's the bicyclist. It's the same shit. Same, same shit. shit. I think the same thing too, bro. Oh my God. So thanks for coming on. Happy sure, dad. Man. How's the happy dad treating you? Shout out happy dad, bro. Let's go. Great Shout fucking, out happy great dad. Beverage. Great, great beverage. Hell yeah. Uh, speaking of mushrooms, we'll get this out of the way. <laughs> Magic Mind. Fucking, have you had that? The little shot? Mm. It has nootropics, lion's mane. Like Whoa. it's a little shot in the morning. You take it and it's like a steady state flow of energy throughout uh, your day. So these aren't psychedelics? Not actually psilocybin. These so are- It's legal. So- It's um, a shot. It's like a shot. That's going to be more like commercialized where people can like, they won't like be scared to take that kind of shit, I feel exactly. like. Exactly. Yeah. But I, you know what I am afraid of though? Like taking too many mushrooms because mm. I microdosed a lot, but yeah. mushrooms purpose is to actually fucking take a lot and wow. speak to- Whoever God. You, God, yeah. Literally, dude, you will speak to like other dimensional beings if you do take a lot. Really? Like have I've you? never gotten to that, but people have shared experiences and they're probably right. Because when you do take a shroom, I mean, dude, you go deep into something that taps into your brain that you don't ever tap into unless you're on these psilocybin, or not psilocybin, but psycho, is it a psilocybin? Psilocybin. Uh, un un unless you're on this psilocybin shit, bro, you can't tap into that part of your brain. And it blows me away, man. Every time I take a shroom, it's it's not a drug to me, dude. That shit is coming from the goddamn earth. And yeah, cocaine comes from earth too. But nah, you know what I mean, bro? Like this is an actual like no, nothing organic- Nothing being done to the shrooms. It's crazy, bro. I mean, it's cow shit. It's kind of gross, but like- it, cow shit? It's literally cow manure. I thought it was mushrooms growing in the wild. Mushrooms that grow on cow shit. It's pretty wild, bro. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. It's, it tastes like ass. 
That's why, bro. That's, that's why they that's taste why actual I, mushrooms taste like poop? Yeah. Literally, bro. It's cow shit. Oh, I thought it was just like eating grass. Like, that's why the pan. chalky chalkies that you give out, bro. <laughs> perfect. Because it's yeah, chocolate. It, it tastes, tastes like chocolate. Yeah, no, I can't. I want to picture meat and shit, though. Yeah. <laughs> but I don't know why I went into that. But, dude, it's, it's Would amazing. Would you say that's your vice? My what? Vice? Vice. What What's your favorite mean? thing to do on streams besides favorite bowling with your friends? Do. That's a good question. I, I'll find it out. Honestly, go to uh, like right now is just go to the beach. Venice Beach is where I like to do shrooms. It is a fucking real life GTA out there, bro. And I just go Whoa. out there and wow. I was about to say, are you doing it with the homeless? What is going on? No, dude. Me and my me and my brother went last time for my birthday, actually. January 26th. Let's go. My, my mom was in town. Good fucking Happy good belated. time. <laughs> Thank you, bro. <laughs> yeah. But dude, we we just went out to Venice, took a shroom, me and my brother, and honestly, dude, great vibes. The, the skate park and shit. Like, it's just, wow. It's a fucking painting, dude, out there in, 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 Venice. in Venice. I swear to God, bro. Looking out at the mountains. I and never the beach. go to the west side. Yeah, it's a trek. Like it's long. I don't. I like staying in West Hollywood, Beverly Hills. This is the best area in LA. It by is. Far. No, it is. no doubt. People bro. say like, "Oh no, it's like all the, the like party and this and that." It's shit to do. We're it's young. Great. Yeah. So we're young Everyone bucks. lives here. Honestly, yeah. like well, let's you're be from real. South Carolina. South Kakalaki, bro. South Kaka. Is that what they call it? That's what a little that sounds slang. like a Bojangles menu. I don't know item. why the fuck they call it that. Because I, I I just followed it. Yeah. South Kakalaki. That's if you know, you know. You know. What, I mean? what is South Carolina known for? <laughs> dude, besides honestly, literacy. Dude, believe it or not, baseball. Baseball is a big like thing in south carolina yankees the, the culture sense. of wait time out why are you wearing yankees <laughs> so my dad grew up in new jersey actually bergen county i don't know oh, if you know okay. i'm sure you know yeah jersey yeah, yeah. and um he's always been a new york guy but when i was born obviously he had me and i was born in boca raton actually but i was only one years old and then we moved to south carolina so i should have been a florida boy believe it or not you i can get that vibe grew up in south carolina because you're game cock Go Cox, baby. Go yes. Cox, too. I say that, too. There that's is. why you like West Hollywood. Dude, <laughs> best best time, I swear to God, is college football season in South Carolina. I could imagine. Bruh, Have you guys ever been in a game? You. Like a big university game? Fuck yeah. South Carolina and Clemson, that's the one I go that's to. That's what I regret. Yeah. When yeah. did you start drinking? Probably or, like sophomore year of high school. I yeah, got, got I didn't drink until yeah. I was 21. What Which is fuck? like junior of college. But bro, I know your story. Like you were like a super smart motherfucker. Like got what? offers. No, like... <laughs> <laughs> no, I, it's it's pretty wild, bro. Like what you told me about that. Yeah, shit. I was mind blown. That's, LA does. I didn't that believe it. LA I didn't believe it. that. LA does that to you. It's just wild. Like thick neck, bro. But I mean, dude, look, man. It's like life. You know how we talked about it. Life will take you wherever it wants you to go, bro. And you know what I mean. Maybe that wasn't your path, bro. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean. Like fuck that shit. Because you're big into. I want to dive into that a bit. You're big yeah. into like speaking things into existence. One million percent, um, bro. And if you had any advice uh, for any of. Uh, my viewers on like motivational shit in regards of speak because just like the happy dad thing dude dude let's go i don't want to talk about it right now with it but like uh, yeah just like speaking things into existence give a fucking little psa look listen ladies and gentlemen like if you're gonna like honestly hear one thing i have to say on this podcast just listen to this shit dude when you speak shit into existence in general, the law of attraction. It is the realest thing <laughs> that anyone could ever do in their real life today. But nobody actually gets it or believes in it because they think that it's just some made up little spiritual hippie bullshit. Nah, like this has been spoken into existence by millions of people around the world. And the reason I originally hopped on it was this thing called The Secret. If you have seen oh, bro, or heard the of The Secret, yeah, it's like a little film documentary yeah. slash- a book too, maybe? Yeah, book. It started as a book and then they got real life people that gave their real life examples on how they accomplished their fucking dreams by speaking it and putting vision boards, bro. And Rob Dyrdek, I'm sure you're familiar with Rob Dyrdek. This guy's master, bro. He Wait, no, that was big. From Ridiculous, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd you say? I said rest in peace. Oh yeah, big. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, nah, bro. He's alive, bro. Listen, like pretty sure ridiculousness is still running. Yeah, dude, this That's guy. So, yeah, this guy. I swear to God, bro. Like he's got his little YouTube channel going right now. He everything he's done is because this vision board and the law of attraction and the the manifestation in his life, bro. I swear to God, it's it has changed lives and everybody that you have seen, every famous person, every big actor. I bet you they have used this tactic or what not tactic, whatever the fuck you want to call it. This, this like, secret. um, yeah, the secret literally, what is bro, it though? dude, you have to fucking literally. So for example, man, like I was telling your homie here earlier, I literally tell myself like you're an actor, right? Like say, for example, you're sitting there one day and you're just 
say in the shower that's where i do my deep thoughts it's honestly a very like calm and relaxing state yeah, and so i masturbate yeah there it is <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude. so look bro say you're just chilling right clean up. and you you literally say to yourself bro I am in a big movie. I am in a big Hollywood film. I am in a big Netflix show. Because if you say I am, right? I was telling him, bro, your brain doesn't know the difference, whether it's real or whether it's there. Or you're just saying so it's crazy. So are you delusional though? No, dude. You, oh, wait, you're not telling people that. So no, it doesn't seem like you're crazy. No, no, it's that's your own inner. When you're by yourself, bro, and you're in your thoughts, honestly, say it verbally out loud, even when, when you're by yourself because the universe will fucking receive that. Bro, this is all energy. We are energy beings living in a penis. human experience. I have a big penis, I have a big penis. Let's go, dude. <laughs> no, serious, bro. It's the realest shit ever. And the reason I, I brought it up or you asked me is because, dude, I wouldn't be sitting here today with what I've accomplished if it wasn't for the law of attraction and, and believing that it's real. Because if you don't believe it and you're just saying it, it's not gonna happen, bro. Just believe in that do shit speak, fully, bro. Do you bro. speak Cardano's gonna go up? Cardano is gonna make me a lot of money. Bro, 100%. Really? It will. Really? You guys into crypto at all? LJ? Yeah. Crypto, he baby. thoroughly believes. And so every time, whenever he gives me a fucking sports bet, <laughs> I lose. <laughs> He's like, bro, Volkanovski is not losing. Dude. Like, knocked out. <laughs> yeah, Volkanovski is the 500 out bucks. Of it. Yeah. And then, but and, and ironically enough, I know crypto will always keep going up. One million percent. So I invested like a couple grand the other day. Down. <laughs> immediately it's a long game my boy i know but like I this guy doesn't you. have patience he has bills yeah money. look dude <laughs> <laughs> look bro so this is i'm betting my rent okay. yeah <laughs> no bro look i've literally the 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 first like time i originally put like a dollar in or a lot of money in was in 2020 that's when i was like all right like first the economy fucking took a shit right during covid i was like what the fuck's going on with this the dollar the dollar is kind of just this piece of shit thing that we keep on just printing infinite amounts of money of or um, amounts of and not really backed by anything because in 1970 or so, right, they took it off the gold standard, meaning there's nothing backed by the dollar. So it's, it's crazy piece shit. Of paper. It's literally a green piece of paper with like this number sign, right, that we've agreed. This is $20, but not really backed by anything. It's a piece of paper that we have agreed on. But in Argentina and all these countries in South America right now, bro, you literally a stack of fucking paper or stack of pesos, whatever their fucking shit is, can't even buy you a roll of toilet paper, bro. That's what happens when you just keep printing. So what is infinite. crypto backed by? Crypto is not really backed by much. What they do, <laughs> no, <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> listen. They only have a max supply of, for example, Bitcoin. There's only 21 million Oh, they're Bitcoin. making it exclusive. There's only a certain amount. So what happens when scarcity? Why can't they just make more? Can't they just make no, more? No, you can't. There's code, it's code. It's 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 uh like what's it called cryptic code a crypto like what it's I'm crazy. I'm saying though crypto, people like everyone said you're gonna start paying with it in your wallet and stuff. Yeah, I've never paid for anything in crypto, nor have I seen anyone pay for anything in crypto in a store. We're too early, bro. It's too. How would you be able to do it? It's do the Apple Pay and it's exactly. like comes out of your crypto. Look, bro. I, I I promise you that first of all, money will be digitalized. There's not going to be coin like the fact that there's still pennies and fucking nickels flying around. That shit is just gross. Like to me, like having to like, like, first of all, I'm a germaphobe. I, I hate having fucking that penny. He is a germaphobe. He yeah, like, bro. He smoke a joint. Yeah. If it's not fresh. No, nah, I like a nice fat, clean joint. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. But dude, like it, it's it fascinates me. Finance and, and the economy and how you can uh, maximize your fucking gains when yeah. you're in basically the bull market now we are going back up marco buy as much cardano as possible i am not a financial advisor but cardano will be the one really? that's all i gotta say bro i'm telling you man how it, long do i have to wait until i give it, can we're gonna be stop eating subway every dude day. we're gonna be in a bull market for a whole fucking year We've been in a bear market for three years. If you don't know what a bull or bear market is, look, a bull market means stock is going up. Bear market means we're going down. Simple as that, bro. Bull market for a whole fucking year. Just put What about stocks? Because stocks- I don't like stocks. They're controlled by Wolf of Wall or the Wolf of Wall Streets, bro. Like that shit's all controlled is by it fucking crypto controlled by no, Elon Musk and fucking uh, meme the, coins. Yeah, exactly. But the, the actual IRS, ones- It was an IRS coin. My buddy just made a bunch of money on. Dude, goody, right? 
No, yes. Goody. Goody knows. We'll get into that another time. But yeah, Goody's on. He's on the meme coin right now. Meme coins are what's going super fucking. It's crazy. Trendy how right now. Value in that. I'm telling you, bro. But it's crazy. Nevertheless, what's your yeah. favorite sex position? My favorite sex position, bro. You know Honestly, that was coming. she's uh she's on top. Uh, reverse cowboy or cowgirl, right? <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> 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 Reverse cowboy. I Kansas fucked that one up. I, I definitely fucked that one up. <laughs> Y'all know what I mean, bro. I don't know. Oh shit. Yeah, reverse cowgirl for sure, bro. For really? Sure. You don't yeah. see your face though. That was Ryan's. Dude, it's like because I don't know, man. It's like she's just like, oh, I don't want to go too in detail, but I know this is your show. But this is honestly my first time really getting too in de in detail. If I was to, you know what I mean? That's why. Life. Yeah. I mean, it'd be weird if anyone else asked you that in any other setting, right? For sure. <laughs> But another one I like is um, from the side. She's a uh, she's little spoon and I'm big spoon. Yes, that's and then she fire. Like, turns over and kisses you. Just fire, just fire. Yeah, hell yeah. What about you? What's your? Uh, one? I love speed bump when like she's planking on the ground and then lifts her ass a little bit and then oh shit, you get leverage because I have a small cock, so mm. insertion. You can, <laughs> Um, really I hear you, brother. And then, like, I love sloppy makeout. I say it every really? time. Really? Yeah. Dude, if a girl gives me head, I'm not kissing you. I'm sorry. After that. Oh, no. I like I'm chilling it. on that. I like it. Hate it. Hate I it. I like it. I'm a germaphobe again. Even if it's my dick, like, I'm but just like, I'm chilling. Really? Dude, I wash my hands before I go to the bathroom. Dude, germaphobes are like, I'm, I'm not going to say that. I think washing your hands. Who diagnoses that? Yeah. Who diagnoses you? Mr. Clean? Dude, I think. I don't want to even say COVID did it to me, bro. I've just, like, I've always been a sanitized, like, like what's it called um just just clean dude man yeah i, I like to have cl clean fucking body like, clean hands you, after a like, night out my buddy Rome was on the pod he like would bring a girl back back in the day and stuff oh, yeah. and like he wouldn't get in his bed nor the girl like you're not allowed to get in my bed until you shower dude you want to hear some crazy shit that i do say a girl's got her like she's wearing her pants for the, the like for the little date we're the entire on. relationship or <laughs> bro say say she's got jeans on for a little date right okay she comes back home to my house uh you're not allowed to sit on my bed with those pants because you just sat on that fucking restaurant seat that's how much i oh. am yeah i will give you like some sweatpants to wear what before you, you hop in my bed what if a guy made you do that what would you say would you get the ick <laughs> really yeah, yeah. <laughs> the ick. dude I, think about it though how nasty it is all those asses and dirty ass seats and then you go in your beautiful bed where you fucking get all comfy. You know, like what? Your face rubbing on that shit. Like, nah, I'm good on that. Really? Yeah, I'm just like, Ugh. yeah, I'd rather, I don't even fuck. I literally take my shoes off right when I walk into my house. Boop, that's it. Wipe my <gasps> fucking floor all the time, dude. Love that shit, man. Love, it's good for your mental you state too. Made? Nah, I'll, I clean. I like to clean because I don't like, you I don't, don't trust, trust any, you don't tr I don't <laughs> trust the maid yet, bro. I literally don't trust the maid yet. So because it's not worth it. Dude, they never do it correctly. And then you get mad at them and like, why am I paying fucking? And imagine your MacBook's uh, gone. Marita fucking. <laughs> Just fucking disappears one day, right? Dude, I've fucking been meaning to ask you this for a while now. Shoot it. Uh, yeah. Where did you lose your virginity? Great question, dude. I love talking about this one. Believe it or not, my fucking high school baseball field. Center field. Wow. Mine was Little League, but kind of. I was Baseball? Why center field? You have to walk out there all the... I was pitcher's Dude. mound. <laughs> I was pitcher's mound in my fucking... Bro, well, I was no pitcher's way. mound in my Little League that. field. I've never known that. Yeah, We've bro. never I, talked about that. Yeah, she broke my fucking heart. Dude, it's like... was It was obviously like after school at night, right? It'd be weird. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> just During the game? Lunch break. <laughs> no. <laughs> the seventh inning stretch, here comes Kane and Patty. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but yeah, dude, it was, it was literally the... Um, it was an interesting experience, but it was with a hoe. So it was like kind of stupid. Same. Yeah. That's always everyone's virginity taker. She wants to fuck her. Yeah. She took my virginity. I literally wanted to marry her. Oh, uh, that's terrible. Right. So you catch feelings pretty quickly. Yeah. yeah I'm a hopeless romantic for sure. But then <laughs> I catch the feelings and if it's mutual, I'm like, eh. Mm. <laughs> I want, now it sucks. But like, unfortunately I had a perfect example. I had this girl visit from Florida and stuff and like I kind of love bombed her, but I didn't know I was doing it. But I just eventually like fell out of the honeymoon phase really quickly. Right. So I was like, oh, yeah, uh, I don't like you anymore. Even though like now she's <laughs> developing feelings. Damn. So like, yeah, I fall hard and fall fast. But to stay there is something special. Yeah. I feel. How long were you in? Because I know you were in a pretty serious relationship. How long was that one? That was I was in only two serious relationships, one three years and one a year. The most recent one was a that year. was a year. Oh, that was quick. Yeah, and, uh, she, yeah, she wanted some 
Uh, old balls. Uh, um, serious relationships are interesting, man. Well, she oh, was, she's with she's with an older one. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, she dated this 57 year old after me. Oh shit! Yeah, I didn't know. And that. And she thought I was too young, a four year age difference. What the fuck? Right. So, Damn. Uh, can tough. you can we dive into uh, your whole crypto mishap? Yeah, um, story about 100%. the absolute thief. Yes, dude. Absolutely. This is a fantastic story. Absolutely. It is. Um. It is. It is a tough story because it was. Uh. It's the sh- fucking worst time of my life for sure. So I met a guy. Right. I was out here in L.A. for about a year, and I meet this guy named Samuel Luke Linares. Right. Samuel Luke Linares. Samuel Luke Linares. Okay. You'll hear that name a lot if with the story. This motherfucker. Right. Say me and you meet. Right. For, you know, just ran him out. Or actually, my girl, my ex girlfriend, introduced me to him. Believe it or not. And uh, she was like, yeah, this guy's Cuban. I'm Colombian. So she was like, you know, two Latinos get along. And he was a homie. We got along. Would you go get tacos together? Dude, we went to, uh, we went to, um, what's it called? Uh, Craig's actually, that restaurant Craig's. Nice. Super dope spot. I haven't been there in a minute. Have you been there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Great spot. Yeah. So like we go there for dinner, right? Off the rip. So strange, bro. This guy just pays for our dinners, right? And I don't want to get too in details, but I'll try to do the long story short. That's where I originally met him. Craig's and then he tries to pay for a dinner or whatever uh, we were like no we're good whatever so we just start hanging out right for a whole last year I kid you not this guy would take us to Vegas all comped in the wind fucking super beautiful hotels whatever all comped and he would not let us pay a dollar and I was always like let me pay for my fucking shit he was like nah bro we're good and I was like whatever always pay for Nobu dinners always pay for Matsuhisha's always just throw fucking money you know what I mean so I was just like all right this guy's just a homie. He's got yeah. bread, you know, sharing it with his friends. You know what I mean? It wasn't just us. It was always a group of homies. So like, boom, I'm in between moving apartments, right? I'm living in Hollywood at the time. And I'm like, my lease ending. My lease is ending. And he's like, yo, I actually have a penthouse. You can take over the lease here. And I'm like, bruh. Uh, he's like, yo, I'll give it to you half off. I'll give you this penthouse half off. Beautiful fucking penthouse for $2,500 a month. Wow. Bro, in West Hollywood, right here. Yeah. I was like, dude, I appreciate you, man. All the things he's done for me, bro. He's covered dinners, and I, I've never asked him to, but he's doing it. And yeah. I'm just like, bro, you're a homie, bro. Man, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Boom. So I'm living in this penthouse, right? A month goes by. This motherfucker literally is just like, yo, Kane, um, do you uh, do you want to do me a favor? I'm like, what's up, bro? He's like, I know you got a lot of crypto. Do you uh, do you mind say, like? you know, spotting me some some crypto so I can put this big sports bet in. And I'm like, fuck, man, Sam, like, I don't I don't really want to fucking touch my Bitcoin. This is for my future. Yeah. Bro, I, I literally from like crypto, the, the money I've put into it, like I started in 2020. That's when I originally put it in. Like I said earlier, this dude, <laughs> I, it was for my future. What I'm saying is like, I don't mean to touch it ever. I've literally not touched that fucking Bitcoin, none of that crypto in years, bro. But he's done so much for you. He's done so much for me. I'm living in this penthouse for only $2,500 a month. All right. He blinded me. Long story short. This whole thing, this whole fucking How year. How much did you give Listen, him? bro. This whole fucking year, he's literally basically set me up. I've gotten his trust. We've done a couple thousand dollar deals here and there, and he gives it back to me. And then boom, he's like, yo, Kane, do you mind doing this crypto or sharing some money so I can put this big sports bet? And I'm like, my boy, you've done a lot. He's like, I'll give you 10K on top. I'm like, fuck, dude, 10K on top, living in a penthouse, $2,500. All right, bro, I got you for sure. Yo, just don't fuck me over, Sam, please, bro. I got you, bro, I swear to God, this and that. Boom, I sent him $35,000 in Bitcoin. It was two Bitcoin at the time worth 15K each, right? Boom. Two yeah. Bitcoin? It was around like 15K now each. Now that's like 120,000. So boom, that's not even the full story, bro. Disgusting. So, all right, boom, we're at... He's got two of my beautiful Bitcoin. The only two Bitcoin that I ever had. Been holding it for like three, four years, bro. Disgusting. So he takes excuses or makes excuses every single fucking day why he can't get it back. My accounts are frozen. I'm bankrupt, this and that. So I'm like, this motherfucker's still keeping in touch with me too. He's not ghosting me. He knows what the fuck he's doing. He is a professional con artist, a swindler, Tinder swindler. If you know, you know. But with the homies, that's literally what he's doing, bro. Yeah. Okay, boom. He's got two of my Bitcoin. A month goes by. I'm like, Sam, what the fuck's going on, bro? Where's my fucking Bitcoin? Where's my money, bro? Yeah. I'm still in his penthouse at the time. So I'm like, there's no way this guy's fucking me over. I know your family. I know your girlfriend. I know all your homies. I know your mom. I literally met his mom, bro. Yeah. And I live in your house. There's no fucking way you're fucking me over, right? It's like, oh, Kane, I can get you all that shit back. I just got to pay this 
fee on this exchange. He's like, yeah, Kane, it's like a $30,000 fee I gotta pay, bro. Do you mind helping me? I'm like, fuck, bro, you already have two of my Bitcoin. Why the fuck would I help you? It's been a month, man. I don't even have my shit back. He's like, Kane, trust me, bro, I swear to God. Listen to this, bro. He swore in his dead father's grave right in front of my eyes. Kane, I swear on my dead father's grave, I'm not fucking you over. Please help me and I will get all your money back, bro. I'm like, all right, dude. He said, I'll give you the penthouse rent free for a year or two. I'm like, fuck, bro. I'm telling you, dude, this guy's so fucking so good. You send him another 30. I gave him $30,000 in cash, bro. And you know what? Excuses, excuses, excuses. He never blocked me, never ghosted me because he knows what he's doing. He says, I'm bankrupt, I'm frozen. And think about that, bro. It's like, damn. Everything he did. $65,000. Around 70 Gs, bro, with the fees and shit, bro. Yeah. And then... um, Where the fuck is this guy? I mean, look, bro, look. This is the disgusting part. What he's doing is not illegal. I mean, yeah, it is. But look, I gave him the money. I gave him the Bitcoin. I am not being stolen or being robbed, bro. This That's, is what he does. But now, dude, that is the master of the swindle. Invest- 10 G's into someone going to break his fucking legs. Yeah, man. I tried. You bro. don't do it yourself. I thought about it, bro. But you I know what's crazy? I gladly accept 10 hundred. You know what's crazy, bro? What's 10 hundred? You know thousand. what's crazy? I didn't want to believe that it really happened, that I really lost $70,000 to this fucking guy I was friends with for a year. A year sounds like a lot, but goddamn, that's not a long time now. It makes, but, you, tr- it makes dude, you question trust. Bro. <laughs> that's like we've been here for a couple years. Two, two, that's three like years now, bro. me like we're pretty like we're close we're yeah that's like me asking it and i think you would trust me but exactly. then again you wouldn't trust me because huh. that experience that experience alone for the rest of my life one of my best friends for 10 years asked me kane do you mind spotting me listen dog i it's not you would never ever give someone another fucking penny bro los angeles i don't want to hate on this city but this city is full of people like that, bro. And it's actually so sad and disgusting because it's a beautiful city, bro, in general. The, the weather, the restaurants, the fucking vibes. The girls. The, girls, the homies too, bro. Everyone out here is just a vibe. But it's dude, every once in a while, man, those fucking disgusting, demonic human beings. That guy is soulless. He doesn't even feel bad, bro. I know multiple people that get swearing about this Swearing on your dead father's grave? Yeah. You're sick yeah. and you need help. Honestly, I wish the best for you, but... What's his name? Rotten hell, my guy. Samuel, <laughs> Samuel Stinkerson? What's his name? I don't even know. Samuel Luke Linares, bro. We'll cut it up and Just, make sure. Dude, I'm goes. telling you, Samuel Luke Linares. The FBI's on his ass. I should also say, I'm not the only one. This guy has swindled hundreds of people, bro. And it's it's so crazy, bro, that he just gets away with it because he's so good at it. Every single text that he sent on my phone, bro, was just perfect. The way he just did it, the You're way he the set person, it up. You're the only person, bro. Telling you, bro, it's 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 good. He was good at it, bro. And you gotta be careful, man. Seriously, bro. People are good at this shit. They're professionally swindlers. He was fucking trained on my on everything I love, bro. I promise. You think you. there's a fucking this motherfucker t- was trained, bro. You think there's like a situation where they're training swindlers and then bro. the big swindler gets the cut like black? What's the movie Twenty One? Yes, bro. Really? I promise you, this guy was That's probably. Um, I promise that like there was probably a good chance, dude that this guy had some people higher up. And look, this sounds crazy, like some movie shit, because it is on some real movie shit. Like this guy, when he gets caught, not if, when, bro, the FBI, Secret Service, every single fucking guy is on his ass. And bro, please release this. Like, I don't really talk about it. I could expose him. Oh, Kane, well, um, this is going to be Kane, a clip why don't you expose this guy on your social media with all your followers? Because bro, people told me like that would get you into more like you know trouble and bullshit and i was just like you know what whatever i'll, I'll let him selfie know. style yeah but in a professional setting like this it's good. yeah but look dude <laughs> all i want is justice bro like this guy has ruined lives you want to hear some crazy shit this is a story that i heard about this kid there was a guy battling cancer I swear to god bro and he had to pay for his you know leukemia and shit it's like fucking a lot of money bro and you know what samuel did he knew this guy samuel was like yo he didn't have enough. The guy was battling cancer. He didn't have enough to pay for his fucking fees, man, because it's expensive. And he, he was like needing it. Samuel was like, yo, I got you, bro. Trust me, I got you. I'll get you I'll get you the money to pay for your leukemia. The homie that was battling cancer gave him like 200 Gs, bro. You know what to Sam did? invest in more and get money. Back. Exactly. You know what no Sam did? Way. I swear to God, bro, it's, it's a known story. This guy fucking fucked some guy that was dying, bro. He doesn't care and he's soulless. It's Fuck like dude the most disgusting human, bro. Like, it's crazy as fuck. How old is this guy? He's like a fucking 26, maybe. What? But, but dude, when you look at him, bro, like, it, it's crazy, bro. Like, 
It's the He'd perfect. be dead by now. Bro, this that guy, I'm surprised me. he's not dead. My dad would get someone to kill him. I'm Crazy, bro. Kill him. My mom and dad would get someone to kill him if they stole $10,000 or more. Yeah. But, dude, look, you believe in karma, right? For sure, right? Yeah. Sometimes karma gets you know, taken into your own hands. Yeah, 100%. So, I'm, I'm thinking about me, though. So, I heard one of my boys, Peter, Peter Vigilante, shout out the homie. This guy gave me a very good... Um, it's some some very good advice it's like karma when i told him the story it's like dude god is gonna help you out so much after that unfortunate event like he's gonna give you like 10 times more like just just if you let it go it no, that and like yeah it's weird bro it's like letting shit go and then like just the whole karma it also like i don't know where i was gonna go with that but what i'm saying is the 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 way he described it bro it's like you got to understand, man, life is so fucking weird, dude. Like, like I say, I, I still believe everything does happen for a reason. And it's crazy that I literally gave him money twice. Like, that's fucked. Even the, 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 the 30K, the 35K in Bitcoin originally, I would have been fees, like. fees, though. Yeah. But, dude, this like, th this shit's crazy, bro. It's like the fact that's that. That's crazy I, in general, dude. And I feel like, that, like I start I start to think of it like I, I had that comedy show that you came to and stuff. Yeah. Uh, fucking fantastic. It was a great turnout. Hell yeah, bro. Like I was having so much stress before it. Mm. Like make sure people come like in when dude in a year I try to think in a year from now will this matter? Yeah. Will something matter? That matters in a year from now, right? It's a big hit. But the, a lot of people stress about little things. It's like where is just like the fun like you don't know where you're going, but let's just like fucking ride it out. And yeah. So, and then shit naturally starts coming to you. Yeah. Especially in relationships. Yeah. If you stop looking for like, I got to find the one I was talking with Rup let's last go. podcast. Uh, if you start looking for it and searching for it, it kind of just like comes to you. Yeah. Naturally in life, you know, if the you law of stop, attraction. if you stop, if looking you stop for it, searching for it, right. not stop working towards it or right. your goal or exactly. being relentless in that pursuit. Yeah. But the mindset of like, if it happens, it happens. It doesn't, doesn't. I care about the yeah. job. I care about the role, like an audition. I care about it. Right. I want to do well. However, how, if it comes, it comes, it doesn't, it doesn't. Right. So that whole like kind of just let it be. Yeah. Is even more so. And it creates less stress for you. But yeah. do you watch porn? Dude, I do every 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 now and then, bro. I'm like one so of those funny. guys. One of my good friends. I've never like talked to shit like that. I don't yeah. talk. I ask my guests the porn shit and like the <laughs> sex, but I don't ask like yeah. our crew. Well, yeah, dude, because it's where not around the poker table. Hey guys, you like porn? Yeah, nah, nah. Pocket I, rockets. I understand, <laughs> <laughs> bro. Poker is the best game ever. And yeah. look, I. I, I hope I didn't take too long in the story about this piece of shit fucking scamming Bro, me. Bro, he deserved whatever. one. He deserved all that. And two, we can, uh, it's going to be. Yeah, you, cut it up for sure. Yeah, for sure. But this is the full podcast. Yeah, but dude, what, what, what did you just mention right there? The, the love attraction? Talking about porn. No, it's oh. like with the homies, dude. It's like. I hear you. It's a pod. Like you're, it's, it's a whole different uh, situation, bro. Like you're literally on camera and you're, you're talking about your life and shit. But with poker, you're, with the boys, you're not going to be on camera and you're not going to be able to replay that conversation. So it's like, I don't know. That's it's like, it's a shit different that goes out. Like, yeah, you know, I'm tell, bro, me and CJ get together, bro. It's hilarious. Dude, this guy and CJ, what's his last name? Marinin. CJ Marinin. The, the, some of the best improv, improvisational, like, is that correct? Improv. Improv. Yeah. Improvisational. Improv yeah. people yeah. in the world, in my opinion, oh, that I hang funny. out with. Like, I, I, I'm sure like there's other good people, but dude, the way they bounce like fucking funny ass like conversation and like, oh my God, bro, you Thanks, have to bro. be there to understand. Me but and CJ these riffing. motherfuckers with improv is unbelievable. We went to high school shit, together. Dude. We didn't even like each other. I got to get him on the pod. He went down yeah. to San Diego today, but uh, dude, he fucking, good shit, it's just man. like nonstop riffing. Funny, but you guys don't, like you, you, you don't completely miss. You sometimes like miss like a little bit with the jokes, but dude, Nine standards, times out of ten, standards. your shit's fucking funny, bro. When you're just talking and like bouncing off fucking jokes, because dude, like some people, most people aren't bouncing jokes like that, dude. Like I'm telling, I'm not laughing as much as as I am with other people Thanks, than I am man. with that group of guys. I want to go. That was some uh, funny fuckers, I want to do bro. a show with him when we're both on stage, and I want to do mm. the first one in Rhode Island because we can pack the place and stuff because we're both from there. Yeah. Uh, so the that'd porn. Be cool What's your favorite fuck. porn though? Yeah. You're not getting dude, on that one. I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll tell you, bro. My favorite. Dude, believe it or not, what's Bridget. her name? No, no, what's her name? Bridget B, I think is her name. Oh, we're going specific. Do you know Bridget B? I'm about to. Uh, 
<laughs> Dude, she's uh, bro, she's Spanish and uh, thick. Let's just say that. Oh, you like them thick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I like I like shape, man. And dude, that girl. Every time I do watch it, I probably type her in nine times out of ten. Yeah, just to be direct and favorites. not a flop. Like if you do watch it, sometimes like and eh, shit whack as fuck. But like every time I tune in a Bridget B. She. What does she do? <laughs> you're, you're, Bridget, Bridget she. <laughs> you're, she does it all, bro. She's you a, a lotion guy. A, you, I know dry hand for the longest time. Not dry hand, dry. Oh, I get home drunk from the bars. Yeah, and I'd be like laying there, and especially if my girlfriend at the time didn't want to touch me, and I would touch myself oh, right. over my underwear. Nice. And come in my underwear and then go to bed. No way. How old were you? No cleanup. Two. How old was I? Twenty five. Three years. <laughs> Four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> not even. I'm like too lazy to get towel and paper towel. Yeah. That I'm just like, I come in my underwear and then I'm just like, ah. Yeah. No, nah, dude. A bag but, of chips beside me or something. But like I should say like, I'm not uh, I'm not the biggest fan of the porn, dude. I, I'd rather have a real girl, to be honest. Yeah, no shit. Every Everyone, once in, that's the whole fucking but point dude, of porn. People ripping that shit every day. And I'm like, look, dude, I'm a big energy every, guy too. Every day. Dude, people are ripping it every day. Oh, you don't jerk off every day? No, 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 no. How often do you jerk Because off? look, very, very like small amount. Like, really? bro. Yeah, bro. Because again, I was going to say, I'm a big energy guy, bro. When you come, like, you know, so you don't want to release that energy. Dude, look, unless it's worthy, unless that girl is worthy enough. And it's like, oh, you're, 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 you're a up. pussy cane, bro. But listen, bro, it's huge. Now I'm 24, bro. That's going like, to make the girl want you even more. It if works, you, if, bro. Hey, Katya, like, if you go home on, with a guy bro. and you were looking, you said you fuck on the first date. <laughs> uh, she did. <laughs> she does. What up? Come on. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, if a guy, if you a guy, you went back to his place and like you're hooking up and you thought you were gonna fuck and you don't because he's like, I don't want any things to move fast. You're gonna be like, fuck, yeah. I want him even more now. Kind of, not really. Mm. <laughs> you're not gonna think he's gay. <laughs> because, because then I'm like, are you not attracted to me? Oh yeah. No, you no, you did everything else, but it's just yeah. like sex is sacred. Okay, you married. Like you sucked them dry. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What about you, LJ? You fuck on the world and you're married. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro, it, it's a sacred uh Did you experience. fuck on the first date? We, we like guys know each other, yeah. Uh, oh, nice. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but it is, she, she said sacred, bro. It is. You're literally- That's why I'm being you're less accessible You're exchanging energies, bro. And I'm not just trying to sound like a God, fucking hippie guru, bro. <laughs> this shit's real, bro. Like, I'm not trying to sound hippie as I'm saying. Like, this shit is, you, you, you have to have some morals and have some like, respect for your own not self, everyone gets bro. you N telling you you don't want to be the whore around town for real for real bro it sounds like arrogant but dude like just just uh protect that shit bro don't just fucking use I'm it on a, a waste horny little fellow yeah people are different and if it, it's working for I'm you once if you're a, a happy day, guy a day at least chilling i'm a happy dad yeah <laughs> Bro, but whatever floats your boat, man. Me, I like to, uh, I feel like I'm happy even if I don't have a, you know, little, little jerk fucking for a whole month, honestly. But Bro, I'll you're wild. A, I'll be with a girl. I'll That's be with a wild. girl. I don't need a jerk for like a whole month. I'll just Are get you having sex every day? Not every day. When I had my girlfriend, for sure, it was a lot. That's what I'm saying. So like, I would be annoyed. Like, what I, we're young. Why we yeah. should be having sex every day? Yeah, bro, I hear you, but. Again, we're just, everyone's different, bro. If you had a boy, would you have sex every day? Yeah. Do you masturbate? <laughs> <laughs> Another episode. Yeah, we need a camera right Do here. Yeah. Oh, how's that? How's that? Fucking hey, being, being a dad and stuff. It's scary. No, like, like, <laughs> like, do you like jerk off? I mean, I think you always have to, you know, something. Yeah. Cause like the kid's always there. Yeah, I couldn't so want the kid to think that you did it. You know, it's like yeah. Like when you when, when you, you see someone too, like I saw Nikki came, I jerked off, and then Nikki came. I was like, he probably knows. Oh shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, dude. Yeah, that's one thing that I, I don't really... jerk off to Nikki. It was yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nikki Glaser. Oh no, I've jerked off her. Oh okay. uh, no, Nikki Paris. No, I'm kidding. I haven't jerked off to Nikki Glaser. No. Wait, a who's sweetheart. your favorite Nikki's a sweetheart? That was so much attractive to about uh, CC Rose. Uh, <laughs> she bad. Cece Rose, oh my god, bro. She was on Ryan's podcast and I fell in love. Shout and out Cece. I love she like she does that thing where like she does a blow job and then she like her eyes are like cross-eyed. Oh, that shit. Yeah, no. Nah, why is that hot? Yeah. Bro, she's yeah, like this, yeah. she's like this, she's like Yeah, 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 yeah. When a girl looks like she's like 
<laughs> retarded? Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, that's that is really so hot. hot. Why is that hot when she I looks retarded? So by watching Down Syndrome porn, what is going Down on? Down Syndrome porn is the wave. Yeah. Okay. System of the Downs. I know what I'm doing when um, I get home. Okay. Dude, that's a new one. Down okay. Syndrome porn? Down Syndrome porn. Uh, <laughs> that's so funny. One time I let uh, Kane hit the puff bar at poker. <laughs> oh, he shit. He never doesn't do it. He only does the natural shit. Dude, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm literally like a fucking just vegan animal like i love health Fuck, you are a vegan bro health just bro, fucking that's nuts. let's go dude how because bro why i went Where? down a big rabbit hole and and honestly learned a Did lot you find some carrots yeah <laughs> and learned a lot <laughs> that was actually i just caught that one dap me up bro i that was kind of a late i was like oh no nah, that was a good one Thanks, dude man. that was actually really good yeah, I mean, they had to because no in. one's ever ha said that when i mentioned rabbit, rabbit hole wow yeah, that's what i'm that's saying what bro this guy's yeah, improv this. is just like fucking no what other it is, is weed i started smoking weed on stage bro go I'm on like, a sitcom like snl type shit and i bet you you would kill it bro bro that's every comedian and yeah comedic actors dream but like i i don't i don't do impressions yeah they you gotta do, do a lot of impressions bro. yeah uh, i only do this one it's uh this is my impression of a monster coming out of the closet let's go <laughs> bill <laughs> bill you're scared bill let's go yeah man that's it that's great that's it no that's a good one and then i do a shitty christopher walken who's that you know sometimes oh. yeah <laughs> terrible <laughs> Terrible. How impressions are tough, bro. Impressions. Do you do any? No, honestly, people people think I'm like Matthew McConaughey vibes. I can I, if I tried, I feel like I could hit it. But oh, I love uh, that guy, bro. Oh, Matthew, have you read Green Lights? No, yeah, I hear it's, it's good. I, I hear it's amazing, guy. bro. I, I was on a cross country road trip. It wasn't the one where I, my stepsister jerked me off. There it uh, is. And <laughs> let's hear about uh, that. We listened to Green Lights, and my buddy oh, Adam wow. and I, uh, and fucking, it was the best, Beautiful. Like, most motivated. Have you read Green Lights? No. Adam Matthew McConaughey, it's like he, he, and he, he, it's an audio book. Yeah. And he narrates it and anything he narrates Beast. is fucking fantastic. But yeah, Green, it's fucking highly recommended. It just uh, helps you like solve shit. He has so many stories in his life. Yeah. And it makes like his like lax, laissez, laissez faire attitude. Smooth. Yeah. Like, it's just like, how do yeah. you not want to fuck that guy? Dude, that guy is a fucking beast. Would you fuck him? No. But his girl is kiss, Latina. If you had to kiss so Zac respect. Efron, Shawn Mendes, Ooh. Tom Brady, okay, or Matthew. Oh, God, if you had to kiss, gun to your head. Say it again one more time. You said some good Zac ones. Zac Efron. Zac. You said some good ones. Zac, Zac Efron, Efron, Tom Shawn Mendes, Tom Brady. Shawn Mendes definitely a possibility. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, is he Tom gay? Brady, I think. known to be gay. Really? Who told us that? Damn. Somebody, somebody on the pod said that. Yeah. Nice. I don't know. I, I don't know. Supposedly the whole Camila thing was a cover up, but. Ooh. That's know. the singer Camille, right? Camila Cabello. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the one Cab that, Ceballo, Camila whatever. Cabello. She killed Havana. It. Havana. Havana. I yeah. was in Havana. Havana. Oh, nah, nah. She sing that? I was her love interest in that. You know that. No way. I was her music. Uh, that's the most third most watched music video in YouTube history. Are you serious? Well, a billion views. God damn. And I was a love interest. Bro, speaking of. And I paid $750. Are you on YouTube? $750. Are you on YouTube? Like you are, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, get on shorts. Because. Uh, who just told me that? Rup. I am absolutely ripping it right now, bro. And Shorts are basically dude, clips. Bro. So everything I post on my actual feed. Dude. Just do it on the smooth. Listen time. to this shit, bro. But you have a lot of subscribers on YouTube. I don't know if you saw my Instagram story these past couple like days. And dude, I was at like 70K. 80k for about i would say a year it Views? took me a year no 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 follow subscribers on youtube. on youtube doing shorts only i only do shorts no long form video content so dude i was literally posting for a fucking year and all these viral videos that are hitting 30 20 million on instagram and tiktok are not getting fucking 20k on youtube so it's like this shit's weird very hard to grow on youtube so boom a fucking week ago, I hit 100K because I have one video that goes up to like 30 million on YouTube Shorts. Finally, one really? hit. 100K subscribers? Yes. Let's go, bro. And then look, today, I hit like 204,000. So in a fucking span of four subscribers? days. subscribers? Yes, bro. In like four days. You need 100,000 subscribers. Yes, maybe. because you know what's crazy, bro? That one video that went to like 30 million, a lot of them are fucking actually like converting to followers and subscribers. And dude, I think that's all it is bro if you have one video or a couple videos that really go crazy on youtube shorts you will get 
literally hundreds of fund. thousands of followers, bro. Yeah, it was a creator fund, like get paid by the, the creator funds, not there yet, because sometimes I do stitched videos, right? And it's somebody else's video and then you stitch it. So they don't like the unoriginal content because it's like somebody uh, else's video. They like a full like your video. But I like the, you know, dark humor, funny ass like, you, you know, my stitches, yeah, it's bro. Hilarious. fucking great shit, man. And that's what's really popping nowadays is stitched videos. I never did those, bro. When I first started, bro, it was just my face and my like sounds and shit. But now what's in is these stitched videos bro when you so get you see someone's video yeah and then do it in your own creative way no for example there's like a fucking midget running right and then i, I saw, make a no, stitch like one. he jumps in the my zip line the, yeah all that like that's the kind of shit that's hitting oh is the you stitch. finish the video you follow up with, with their video funny. gotcha yeah but i also like i do recreate a video for example if i see a funny skit with 30 million views but the expression in his face is not that good I'm like, all right, bro, I'm just going to recreate this. You can like, do it better. I can do it better. Just like recreating a little trendy dance. The Renegade bullshit back in the day. They were all recreating the Renegade, the same dances that all these other original people were creating. They were just trends. But with comedy skits, people try to get on me for Unfortunately, recreating. I see some of the comments. Like, yeah, they like bro. fucking like you stole and this and that. Dude. Like, why? If you're bringing something new to it, yeah. it's like, but then again, it's a whole different beast, I think, with videos versus stand up. Because oh, say yeah. if I hear a joke mm. said by a smaller comedian of whatnot, right? Yeah. And then I have a huge, I'm Chappelle, I heard that. I'm like, oh, that's a great premise. I can do it a little better and try to work a way around it. Is oh, yeah. it stealing or is it cap? Like where is, where do you yeah. think the line is on that? I think because it's in comedy world. Yeah. It's a big no, no. I think it's a completely different thing on social media than it is on stand up. Stand up's this live, like actual, like human real life shit live yeah. but this social media thing like this is literally just a character that people play on this Every, phone it's so true because so true because everyone's doing the dance it's strange there is like how like yeah. well, everyone's doing everything dude and i honestly bro like the only reason i feel like i got the hate you got for slack it, because you have more followers that and it i was kind of like dude, you're stealing what's crazy is bro is i was kind of like one of the first if not one of if not the first to actually like kind of go viral when it comes to like recreating content. Obviously not all my videos are fucking original. Fuck no, dude. It's hard to make a fucking viral skit. People don't understand that, dude. Like, so why not just recreate something that people have already recreated a couple times, if not hundreds of times, but yours is the best one. Yours goes the most viral. And then they want to say, and then you're just more followers, yeah. they're mad and angry and jealous, bro. That's the main Facts, one. Probably. People see someone blowing up on social media, bro. I'm telling you, and they're doing nothing in their life. I'm telling you, bro. Something gets to them. They're like, fucking fucker, man. I wish I was him. I really wish I was that. I'm yeah. just going to hate on you because I'm not. And I'm feeling sad for myself and I hate myself. I want you to feel that way. I'm telling you, bro, it's a sick thing that's going on in social media right now, bro. A lot of hate, but you know what you got to do? Just don't look at the comments much. Keep doing your thing, posting every day. Let it get millions. Let it go viral, bro. But don't get, let it get in your head about these people talking shit, trying to bring you down. Because you know what happened, bro, is like, it's they're helping you. They're literally typing on your comments. They're helping the algorithm. They're paying attention to you. You're doing something right. E either way, they yeah. hate you or not, they're paying attention. They're still asking attention. for a picture when they see you. Attention, bro. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of that, not one person, maybe two people in my whole life, bro, doing the social media thing. It's been like four years now, have actually came up to me and said some like, you know, toxic, fucked up shit. They've always been nice. Oh, yeah. They've always been nice to me in person, bro. But when it comes to like social media behind your little phone, you can say whatever you want. It's a dumb game, dude. It's literally a video game, bro. Social media. Jealous. That's what it comes it's down a to. fucking game, dude. Play a little fucking character, recreate videos that go viral. Everyone's fucking recreating content, Marco. Now make a fucking skit that's already viral, your own little swagger. It's going to go viral. Yeah. Because you're a good actor. Yeah. Just fucking make it go viral. You're not an actor. Bro, you're portraying a little fucking person on a little video, basically mm -hmm. acting. But you got to be in a big budget film for you to be an actor. Like, whatever, dude. Fuck it. Like, just doing your thing, dude. You know what I mean? What's your favorite thing about LA? Dude, honestly, the fucking weather, bro. Oh, yeah. oh, real fucking original answer there. Yeah, nah, dude. <laughs> sweet green, hands down. Let's go. I Let's introduced go. him to sweet green. Dude. We went on a sweet green date after our extravagant evening playing pool at Barney's Beanery. Let's go. And uh, he he lives he lived near it at the time. Uh, and fucking, 
you you love it. It's just Dude, as much as I. It's the greatest fast food. It's not even fast food, bro. It's great. It's just so healthy and convenient, and it's dude, so convenient and good. What affordable, do you get? What do you get? dude. I'll tell you my bowl. I mean, I literally get kale on the bottom, right? Oh fuck! Never mind. This is gonna be it's vegan. It's not gonna be. It's vegan. rabbit food, bro. We're literally getting kale, two scoops of wild rice, two scoops of quinoa. We got broccoli. We got tomatoes. We got carrots. We got black beans, and then for the main, sweet potatoes, two servings. And then we get some barbecue sauce or honey mustard on the top. Bang. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Dude, it's just it's health, just, bro. And you High feel good vibration. after. You must Amazing. be shitting lettuce. What? No, dude. I feel so good after. I'm never like, uh, I'm never full. I'm never done of energy. Believe it or not, bro. And then I'd say B vitamin, B12 vitamins and vitamin C. Because vitamin C, we don't get much sun. We're in the house. We get in the car. We drive. We're still inside. We need to get that sun, so vitamin C. The sun, dude, I'm working out on the rooftop or work out on the building? Or vitamin D, I think. Vitamin D. I'm high as fuck, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right, yeah. Please correct me I'm if I say some out, stupid like, shit like that. <laughs> People uh, are looking like, what dude, the fuck so is this idiot? Fucking, uh, working out in the sunlight in the rooftop and stuff, like sun does Let's change Because yeah. my place here, it, it's a little dark because yeah. there's not much sunlight. It's yeah. kind of like the first floor. But like, I come outside, it's a whole different change of pace Let's when you go, get some dude. second sun in your life. Dude, we are fucking like, supposed to be outside we're supposed to not wear these shoes and fucking socks we're supposed to be grounding and feeling the fucking earth Oof. it's crazy bro <laughs> nah bro. <laughs> but you know what i mean bro when you start connecting to that shit man you feel better yeah you feel better man too, yeah. too much of your time we could talk for hours however yeah. before we go i do want to do another popper from last episode no i'm kidding uh, <laughs> uh, wait do you post that kind of shit <laughs> i'm going to i think it's hilarious <laughs> Uh, I did my first. Oh my god! Have you tried smelling salts? No. Baseball band fan. Dude, LJ brought smelling salts and Bob Medley was here, and we did it. I would rather do a popper than smelling salt. I literally paralyzed me. Yeah, Danny. I'll show you the clip. You know, like, you know, Danny Duncan, yeah, the YouTuber. Yeah. Yeah. He he like always has that shit and just tells people to smell it. It's random safer people. than cocaine. Is it actually going inside your system? No, it's just air, right? No, yeah, no, it's, it's like, a smelling salt. But like, it's just, oh, it's not. It's like, not. Oh, the salt isn't going up like cocaine. There's no way. No, no, no. It's just like the. Smell. Oh, so it doesn't run out. No, it does. It's then where does the salt go? It's just ammonia. Oh, it's not. Shout the hot dog gummies. What's going on there? I stole this from a CVS earlier. It was like a janky CVS. Bro, the fact that you I still bought, do the little oh, th stealing is dumb. Honestly. No, 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 no. Listen. Dude, Listen, you got to stop the bullshit. Listen, the pack of water for 24 bottles is $20 at this little convenience store down the street. And I'm getting mine. Okay? <laughs> I can do a little fucking hot dog steal. Yeah. But if I go to Target Dude, just <laughs> or Ralph's and there's no aisles open, yeah. literally no aisles open, they make yourself check out. I'm not trained to fucking work here. If I miss, <laughs> a, if I miss an item or two, yeah, but, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. your loss, baby. Should have hired me, dude. I sometimes think about that. Everything's buy one get one at but fucking it, Target for me. You know what fucks me up? Everything is a bogo, bro. The one and thing I eye it while I'm shopping. I'm like, oh, this travel size tissue is two ninety nine, but this entire tub of Tide <laughs> is twenty five. Wow. I'm gonna scan the tissues. Yeah. Listen, dude, like I, I stole a car battery one time. <laughs> I, I didn't even have a car at the time. It's a good one. I was like, bro, far can do you want to talk about some before we end Patio up, set. Beep. Dude, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, dude. I, dude, when I was in, um, I think this was like freshman year of high school, mm -hmm. right after middle school, me and my buddies would literally go crazy at the mall. We would like go to the fucking polo area, you know, the, the fucking polo brand of clothes. We start putting a bunch of shirts on in the, in the fucking fitting rooms and a bunch of like bathing suits, polo bathing suits, all the nice Nikes and all that. And then we would just walk out with it under our shit, bro, and just fucking call it a day. Bro, we would do that with Mophie cases, you know, the chargeable phone yeah. cases back in the day. Fucking go to Best Buy. You're getting mad at me for stealing fucking I just had to mention from it. Ralph's? Back in the day, bro, I would go crazy because I was like, there's no way. First of all, I'm fucking 15 years old. I have no right mind at all. But like, I was like, there's no way I even get caught, bro. And I was just slick with it. And if, even if I do get caught, yeah. I can get a little slap on the wrist, whatever. But dude, I was a fucking piece of shit. Like, well, we just, I went to ask you something. <laughs> I went to ask you something. Uh, I went to ask you something. I started eating that hot dog. Explain real quick, cause we gotta go. Uh, what's up, the flat earth. You believe in a flat earth? Dude, a little bit. 
I'm not even, look, bro, you, y'all are laughing. Everyone's gonna laugh, bro. Yeah, no shit. Bro, I, I could go so Everything like, you said in this podcast is discredited. Right, because the flat earth. Because the flat earth belief. Bro, if you, if you really wanna know, you can know, but people are so, <laughs> no, dude, people are, listen, think about this. When you are born, right, you are basically forced to go to school and learn stuff that you are forced to learn. You have been learned stuff that you have been forced to learn your whole life. Now you are basically brainwashed in a way. Think about it. How do you know it's true and all that shit that you've learned about earth and geography and uh, think about things, it. Right? I understand where you're yes, coming from in yes. that. However, it's pretty obvious that, that it's, an airplane we're floating flies, in space. If an airplane flies and keeps flying, guess what? I could go deep You're gonna hit that. the same spot eventually. I could literally show you like, but whatever. It's not the time or the show place. Me. You think it's a no, flat earth because it's a map and I, it's flat? I don't think that we're on a ball spinning thousand miles per hour in space. That is very unlikely. We're in a podcast studio in the hills. You think we've been to the moon? Let's be honest. Do you actually think we've been to the moon, people? No. You don't either? No. Okay, not then the how do we know that the world's fucking round and we're floating if the fucking moon landing is fake? What are you talking about? Event. This is literally geography. Um, do you it's deep, bro. Yeah. yeah. You believe we're why what? do you think the why do you think the governments have to get you? Oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Where can we find you on socials? <laughs> <laughs> bro, dude, it's a that's a deep one, bro. That like honestly, only like if you really That's a round two. That's a round yeah, two yeah. of the pod. That that shit's people people think I'm we'll crazy. Do a whole podcast but bro, right. like there there actually is some like people that can fucking make you be like, oh. For real, bro. It's you an interesting one. You almost made me think that. It's an interesting one, like, bro. Then I but, stopped doing the poppers. Yeah. <laughs> you can follow me on uh, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. Facebook, believe it or not. My best platform by far. That's crazy how you have literally millions of followers and yeah. I don't even know the subscriber thing on YouTube. Yeah, on bro. every platform. Snapchat, too. It's like there's yeah. so much fucking streams of penis and income and nudes coming Let's at you. Let's go. It's fucking amazing. Fuck you, Samuel. Bro. Follow him, Kate. Before before I end it, you know how they're trying to ban TikTok again? Like yeah. Congress is basically passing this law that's going to ban TikTok from the United States. Yeah. Do you know what's crazy? That's my most followed, 3.2 million followers, right? That's where I originally like kind of blew up. And I'm just like seeing this literally yesterday. I saw the post and I'm like, you know what? I don't really give a fuck because that is a dumb app now. They've muted all the best sounds, all viral like you know, fucking super good music by Drake and all Travis Scott. The mainstream is what I'm trying to say. They're muting all of it and they're taking it away because I guess they don't want to pay these labels anymore. So they're fucking ruining the platform. Only long form content goes viral now on TikTok, which is so dumb because most people do viral short form skits. That's what people fucking thrive on, bro. Short form. But dude, it's sad because like, that was the main platform, but for some reason I, I brought it up because I don't give a fuck anymore. If they ban it, other one. because I got the Facebook, the YouTube, the Snap, dude, and the Instagram. Are, dude, if Asians can't admit they invented COVID, why do I have to tell the girl I have chlamydia three times? Yes, what? they did 100% did COVID. That's <laughs> planned. Right? They try to fuck us up, and they did. Thanks for coming on Sushi Town, Kane. <laughs> I could go deep. Until yeah. next time. I'm Hell yeah. Thanks for having me, bro. I've been